25th of July this morning. It's now 8.42. We're waiting for Brian. We're looking forward to seeing our old friend and we're ready for a, for a great dance. Good to see you. Good to see you, brother. Good to see you. We uh, had a long flight over across the pond yesterday. Stayed in uh, Johannesburg and then worked with uh, the guys from Hunter Support. They flew us down here, so we're going to be heading over to the lodge at Nyata and uh, looking forward to a great week. Yeah. Great to have you back, my friend. Good to see you. Um, Thank you so much for having me. We're at Nyara Lodge, just about an hour north of Kimberley. Okay. Towards Johannesburg. Beautiful area, about 30,000 acres. Very different from what we've done before. We're looking to dart a rhino. Yep. We're looking for another buffalo, maybe. Yep. And then a few odds and ends here and there. Yeah. So. We're really talking more about our conservation work, too. That's a big piece yeah. of all of this. And, uh, you know, kind of educating everybody on what we're trying to do with everything. So yeah. it's, it's, and yeah. conservation's big over here. It's not just about saving the animals, it's saving communities too with what yeah. we do with this. So it's, it's great and I love your team. You guys have been great. Been top notch service from the beginning. So I can't wait to see the rest of the trip. Looking forward to another great on. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, Josh. <laughs>Pretty cool. It's uh, quite different from where we were last year, and uh, the view is way better. <laughs> Little on a hill here, which is beautiful, overlooking all of the area we're going to be hunting. And the rooms are big, uh, staff's great, and we're excited. I can't wait to get to it. Brian, so you know these guys? Yeah. We've worked My old with friends. Them before. That's the 300 Win Mag that yep. we're going to use on Plains Game. Perfect. And then we've got the 375 HH. &H. That we're going to use for the buffalo. As always, we always check everything before we go, so make sure we're ready to go and we're going to head out this afternoon. Yeah. Thanks, Russ. Shoot, same spot in his right. Low. Yeah, it should be low. Yep. Height is good. I'm happy with that little bit to the right there. You okay? Yep, I'm good. Philip, so we haven't said hello. You've met Brian and Tompon. Tompon is our tracker and driver. He does everything. Yeah, he's the main main guy here that we hunt with. Philip is the manager of Nyara. Always nice to be a gentleman. Lovely hunting with you. Brian? Looking forward to it. Let's Lovely. get after it. came into the water quite early, which is interesting for me, but Philip said they're starting to feed quite early now yeah. because it's so dry, it's been very dry for quite a while. We've had lots of frost, so all the, all the grass is dead basically. So okay. you can see they're moving around more in the daytime now. So we've spotted this big herd of cows and calves and a Not bunch of calves. young bulls, but I don't see any big bulls. So normally this time of year, the big bulls don't walk with the females. It doesn't mean you're not gonna find one with them. You always have to look, but the norm is that they're outside by themselves. Sure. The yeah, it's a lot of land to look at. So we have a lot of uh, opportunities, but we also have a lot of traveling we gotta do to find the right buffalo. And that's what this is all about, is conservation work and doing the right thing and not just taking any bull, but taking the right bull, the proper bull, as you would say. Anything out for us? Sure. Because it's not going to... It doesn't look like it's going to hot the Trotsky. So this is an animal that they've been watching. It's uh, one that needs to be called because of uh, the health and, and the right thing for, for the conservation here to, for all the animals to strive to survive. Yep, I got you. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 There is no lions. There's some brown hyena. 
but old stuff like this, we do have to manage the numbers, you know. And uh, to see something that, like this, right. you rather take it out. And, uh, Responsible conservation. Yeah. It's uh, it's yeah. part of it. It's not part that we all like to see, but yeah. we all have to be very smart and be responsible with our actions to manage everything. As I said back at the truck, it's like owning a pet. You yeah. know, when you have to be a responsible pet owner, same as a land manager, you yeah. have to do the same, and that's part of conservation. Yeah. So. Reality. But thank you. Right. Yeah. Thank you very much. It's getting to be that time of the evening where things are starting to move and go to water and start feeding. So we're in a pretty busy area right now. So we're waiting, still looking for that right buffalo. We've got a couple behind us here that we're gonna ease on up here, try to get closer to the water, see what else is around. Coming into our first evening here, and we had a really good time. Long day, a lot of buffalo today, and we thought we were gonna get it done here right at the last few minutes of sun, sunset going down, but uh, got to about 50 yards, and it was just too much, and he, he caught us, and he, and he had to turn around and do a 180, so there's always tomorrow, and it's still early in the hunt, so I'm looking forward to it. Right we are looking for porcupine and never know a jackal maybe. This morning, um, we're trying to locate the rhino this morning to try and die the rhino, but uh, we're also looking for buffalo. So we uh, we came up on top of the one hill here. It's just, the sun is just rising. We located six bulls down here. There's one old guy, which is not very big. And then uh, we just saw some other bulls. We saw three bulls far away from here, so we're gonna make our way there and see what we see. 
and I don't know how many or where you saw them, but the one that was closest to us that passed the road there, yeah. that's, there's, a, there's one old bull yeah. and then five younger bulls. But I kept looking and looking and wanting to go wider, but he doesn't want to. So, <laughs> no. And we not, can't not force something, it. yeah, we had something that we're looking for. But we, we located four bulls. It's quite a long way down. Yeah. I can't see from here if it's big bulls or not, but okay. um, it's we'll definitely bulls. So we're going to go have a look yeah. there. Okay. Perfect. Sounds great.
Lacquer. Well Lacquer. done. Perfect Thank you. shot, huh? Thank you. Perfect Thank you. shot. Well done. A little bit of scare Perfect at the done. end there, but better <laughs> safe than sorry. Yes, that was. Look, what an old boy. Yeah. He was the one that was full of mud. He was also yeah. the only one in there that was full of yeah. mud like this. Similar to the others we've shot. Unbelievable. Oh, the bosses. Well done, Brian. Good stuff. Strauss, ENTN Outdoors thanks you for a wonderful special treat this afternoon. It's actually morning still. Morning but still. Yeah. It feels like it's been all day for this. We worked yeah. pretty hard for this one. So, yeah. uh, it's a little unique in here because it's very thick. And you had made the comment to me when we found them initially this morning. You knew where they wanted to go. You, you were pretty good at your job today. You put <laughs> us right lucky. exactly <laughs> to the exact spot where they wanted to go. And we got very lucky that the oldest, most mature dog boy in the entire group yeah. was the one that presented himself. And yeah. I, uh, it's very special for me every time coming to Africa with the conservation efforts and everything. But this hunt, as, as I said before, is what it's all about. The right thing for conservation. Yeah. Thank you. Well done, Brian. It was an amazing shot. We, I, I got you in a little bit too close to where they wanted to bed down <laughs> because that was right here where we were standing. Right here. We had to make a quick adjustment, just go around, and I think there must have been like 12 bulls at least, and yeah. the one that we wanted, he presented himself, like you said, he was he was right at the back, the older guy, and, and yeah. uh, beautiful shot, perfect shot, second buffalo, again, perfect. Perfect. Well yeah. done. Congratulations, and it's always a pleasure hunting with you. I Brian. love the Thank safety. Thank you very much, my friend. Yeah, the dead ones that kill you, and that's why we were extra safe today, yeah. to do the right thing. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, normally we have nice calm conditions to talk to you about everything, but we're kind of in a hurry. Uh, the, the group here at uh, Nyata Lodge and Vion, the owner, are, uh, were able to locate the rhino that we're working to dart. And so we're having to rush massively from one side of the property all the way to the other side so that we can get there, so we have enough time to keep the wind and everything correct. We're gonna be using a helicopter today uh, with their veterinarian. They will end up putting a tranquilizer into the rhino to put it down uh, to sleep for just a, a little while while they take the measurements and everything that we need. But this is why, as Strauss would always say, you can't plan a hunt to go a certain way. It always happens very fast. So we're moving very quickly right now to get over to the rhino. And we're gonna see how things go, but hopefully we can get it done this afternoon. All right, this is Vian. Winter Shook's owner, thank you for having and hosting us this week. This is awesome. And we're gonna be starting the rhino part of the hunt now, which yes. is wonderful, the darting of the rhino, which is a great hunt that anybody can do with you guys, right? Yeah. Beautiful, so you've got everything already pre-planned out and we'll hope it all goes to the game plan. So tell me what we need to do today. Yeah, I must say, I think we had a little bit of, the past two days was a little bit stressful because the rhinos changed their pattern. Yeah. And they didn't pitch up where we, they normally every evening in the pan. And luckily, last night again, they've been back here and Flip spotted them this morning. So Flip is behind him, yep. me behind them. They went down and they are laying down now. So that's very nice. nice. The wind is, is very nice in our favor. Um, just to get back to the rhino hunt, I think, or the rhino dart hunt, it's, it's something that is quite controversial. And, um, and, 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 and it's very unfortunate because this really contributes to preservation and the conservation yeah. of rhino because it is it's putting money in and you you don't you don't kill anyone not that I think right. hunting a rhino is wrong at all but this is really a nice way and you will experience everything it's, it. it's, it's going this to be is... amazing hunt you get close yeah. to it and we will take it slowly and and yeah, yeah you must say I <laughs> cannot wait to see to do all this this is something that's been a dream of mine for a long time to do one of the big five of Africa yeah. hopefully we can do the big two that we had today we yeah, had yeah the buffalo this morning and then hopefully we can get the rhino this afternoon yeah so. i think you 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 actually <laughs> you already had an amazing day <laughs> exactly it's going to be exactly. tough to beat that but yeah. we'll try to, yeah. to to make it even better well that's what we call the company then exceptions yeah. not the normal so yeah. that's why we do what we do yeah so. that's why this is happening right <laughs> this is why you, it's yeah. happening yeah. Yeah. the law in south africa stipulates yeah. that you will use a vita dart mm -hmm. to dart the rhino a vet you will then administer the final dart, we'll right. put it to sleep, we'll do some procedures, take blood, do measurements, do what we want to do with this. This bull has been darted when we moved him here okay. four or five years ago. 
inside here we have settings that we set here one two three four five it's okay. each for 10 meters okay. so when we range the, the rhino i'll put it in the right setting okay it's normal action mm -hmm. it's a 0.22 blank okay the gas go into into this cylinder that pushes the dart out all right i can honestly say i'm doing something i've never done before and that is i'm shooting a dart gun i've never done that so to make sure we're always prepared and doing the right thing, we're going to throw a couple practice shots with the dart gun before we go after the rhino. That's it. Not good? Yeah, boy. All right. Cool, you ready? Yep. Ah, right. perfect. Right, right over the white. Yeah. The white is perfect. you can. happened very fast. We just took the shot, it was just a little bit low. We're working on finding the track now and the chopper's going in here to start the process. Let's go follow. Once the chopper was up, they found it very quickly. Yes, we were just a little low as you saw. You can see some of the blood from where we did it, but yes, we're good. Happened very quickly today. Yeah. That's an amazing yeah. thick base. Yes. I will say he's about 24, maybe bigger. Yeah. Um, Twenty-three and a half. Big thank you for today. I know we got quick on time here. 
But really, thank you guys. This has been amazing. We knocked out two of the big five in one day. Way to go. Thank <laughs> well you guys. Brian. Thank you. Well thank you to yeah. you. Yeah. I mean, this is you... a conservation is the best part about this. You so guys, these animals can go on forever. You guys make it happen, and we appreciate that. Thank Always. you so much. Thanks, Travis. Well thank you. Thank you. Yeah. We're going to enter the antidote here to so get him started back to full recovery. Right here. Here we go. He's almost up. We just gave the antidote literally about a minute and a half ago. And you can see he's he's just now coming to his feet. And yes. Oh. Perfect. Look at that. He gets to stand for a little bit. Yeah. That was beautiful. Vian, thank you. Good stuff on conservation this time, my friend. Yeah. Big smiles. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Big thank you to the Vintershook team here, working on conservation with ENTN Outdoors. You're missing out if you're not coming to Vintershook Safaris. It's the best adventure ever. Thank you, guys. spring bug and uh, finish out the last two that I need for the, uh, the spring bug slam in South Africa. So we're in a new part of the ranch we haven't been to yet, so it's nice to see new territory. But I don't see a black one there. Shoot a Hartman zebra. Let's just see what they do. We we saw three Hartman zebras, actually three males. That's that's three males. Okay, okay, that's okay. Which is great, you know. So, but they're moving. Yeah. We're just gonna go slowly and see. Busy. Maybe we get close. Maybe they stop. We'll see. Let's go see where we go. Well done, Brian. That was a surprise right at the end of the evening, wasn't it, Strauss? It's always a huge a stress point to try and figure out which one is the stallion. It's nice if you can get pushed out stallions like that. I yeah. could see all three of them. But you could see he was the dominant one. He was yes. the older one of the three. Yes. That's why they started biting him when he, when he was hurt. Hopefully, Inca was able to get all of that on camera. Because you don't see that that often, do you? Yeah. 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 Thanks, buddy. Well done, Brian. Good to, Congrats. Good shooting for... You see the little dewlap? Yes. That is very different from the Birchels. Yep. You see the brown face? This is brown. The yeah. Birchels don't have that. And then the Birchels, they go all the way down, of yeah. course. And yep. then they, they have the shadow stripes as well, yes. which this one doesn't have. The Hartman Zebra. Brian, so that has been quite a day, my yes. friend. It's, um, it's a special day. Some special stuff happened today. 
Uh, we got up this morning, we decided we're going to try our best to find, locate the rhino and dart it today. Yeah. Um, while the guys were looking, we found a group of buffalo. We shot a beautiful buffalo bull. Yeah. Very exciting, yeah. good shooting, and uh, then the rhino dart worked out perfectly, well done. I mean, that's one of your second of your big five. Yes. Yeah. Um, amazing experience. I'm, I'm so glad that you could, could enjoy that. It, it really is no, nice to, everyone, to do that. Sure, yeah. Yeah. And then we came out this afternoon to see if we can find a black springbuck. And this is not a black springbuck. But <laughs> <laughs> it is uh, one of the zebra that uh, we've talked about for yeah. a couple of years now. And glad we could actually take care of yeah, so the first, job of it. The first year you got the Birchall zebra. And this yes. is the Hartmann's mountain zebra. Yep. Um, beautiful, beautiful animal. We, we found three stallions, which is always nice to, yeah. they, they've been pushed out of the group and this one was the old boy in there. Yeah. So wonderful animal to take and great shooting. It was, I didn't make it easy on you. Sorry about that, <laughs> but well done, my friend. It happened very fast and it, it's very interesting just to watch after the shot, how they were trying to push him out. Push him out. Yeah. yeah. That was, uh, something I, I never had, yeah. had seen before. Yeah. So, uh, and Winterschuk's been great this entire trip. The conservation piece we've always worked on, uh, yeah. which is so important. Everybody doesn't understand. It's not just about the animals. It's about the land and the people here in Africa, and especially South Africa, to take care of everybody. And it's so important to me. ENTN, Ventershook working together, it's it's the best thing that could ever happen for both of us, I really believe. Yeah, thank, thank you. you thank you very much, Brian. Appreciate yeah. the support. Thank and you. thank you, my friend. All right. Thanks, Bernie. A bit later start today for a reason, but we had yeah. one of our best days ever, I think, for you guys and for ENTN yesterday. It was yes. an, a wonderful evening of celebration. Thank you exactly. for that last night. Yeah. So not really much on the second full day here other than Black Springbuck, if yeah. we're lucky enough. Yeah. But we're going to go drive around, see what, uh, what we can spot. Yeah. But you never know because we are the exception, not the norm. Exactly. So. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we had a good evening last night. I really enjoyed it yeah. and um, had a bit of a sleep in this morning, which was nice and, and good, <laughs> but looking forward to another day. Yes. And we're trying to finish your, your Springbuck Slam stall. Yep. We've been working on that for a while. A few uh, years. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're going to go out and see what we see. Looking forward to it. Thanks, Thanks Russ. Brian. Yeah. All right. The sun is coming up nicely. It's not too cold this morning. So we're going out now to looking for a black Springbuck. So we go for that. We're looking for the Lichtenstein hartebeest. We're gonna find one real quick. <laughs> yeah. No, they're here, right here. <laughs> finished uh this was a very quick stalk actually when we spotted yeah. him i know we both probably would have taken a lot longer time to get there yes if we wanted but, to shoot it <laughs> but we weren't it was just you know practice is always important in being prepared so and every situation here in africa is unique so anytime you get a chance to do something like that as we're heading back to the lodge here for for lunch it's it's a wonderful opportunity See how we would react and how close we could get. Yeah. Fun. And he was, you thought, about 41, 40 ish? Yeah, on the side. Yeah. We call it Bogdrol. Yeah, Split him. fucking with me now. I heard the two of you fucking working back
Don't get further away. Yeah, hell no. It's a sport. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure it is. Yeah, let's get the fucking rookie to do it. No. Hell no. Oh, that's hilarious. It's an official sport in Africa. Bog droll spoof. Bog droll spoof. <laughs> In, it's a bog roll. We put it in the mouth, and then we run to the stripe, and then we blow it. Can tell us how it Strauss do? The same like me. Strauss, challenge him again. Let's go, Strauss. From the same side, you know. Okay, you must check, Brian, you need to judge there. Yeah, I can see just fine from here, I'm good. No, but you need to see where it lands. Yeah, no, I can see. Ah, <coughs> 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 tampon, you have to beat that. Let's see. Tampon, tampon far, yeah. My tampon, I owe yeah, you a coke, Good right? stuff, good stuff. <laughs> love coming to Africa to see these sunsets. The beautiful copper sun of Africa. Very important to me right now too because you know my father passed away in March and he was gonna come on me with me on this trip and he is here and this is my way of saying I love you dad and I miss you and I know you'd have loved Africa as much as I do. Philip is the jackal master of the Northern Cape and he's going to take us. Conditions are not ideal because it's quite light as you can see from the moon. But uh, we're going to go down and see if we can call in a jackal for Brian to get his first right. jackal. So first jackal and if we have another species of opportunity is the porcupine. 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 100%. Yeah. Yeah. And Afrikaans, what is porcupine? Easterfark. Easterfark. There we go. Aye. Well Africa. done. Yeah. All right. Direct translation? Iron pig. I am pig. Perfect. Good to know. I love learning languages everywhere I go on my travels. It's great. So. We don't know why. Yeah, Philip, thank you. Thank Thanks you, sir. It's been great. You guys have been awesome here. The entire team has been great. So great. I'm excited to go you, yeah. try something different tonight. We'll see what happens. Well, yeah. we'll put it on, on safe. Okay. Just be ready because if we light the jackal now, it's going to be quick. Yeah. Okay. Safe. 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 Look on the in the light that comes. Oh, hit it. Hit it. Looks like it. Yeah, right there. See him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we came out tonight looking for jackal. Yeah. And uh, we came up on an African wild cat. So it's a, it's a very special trophy to get. It'll have a special place in your office, I think you said. Eh? Yeah, that yeah. would be nice, yeah. Beautiful animals, 
Not a lot of people has the opportunity to take one of these. So congratulations, well done. Exception, not the norm, right? Yeah. Well, thank you so much. I wanted to give you your gratuity for the week and thank really appreciate I enjoyed the company. Thank you, thank you so thank much. You Absolutely. You done fun. You so we're going to hit the road and off to the next stop. There we go. Good stuff. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. First class accommodations. We'll love it here at Vintage Show. I know it's a little bit early, but I, there's a, no, I saw a Boeing. I saw a Boeing. Yes, there we go. Oh, sorry. Oh. You're going to have one? Thank yeah. you. Sorry. Thank you. Yes, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Thanks for Thanks for having Cheers. 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 So, Strauss, we've, we've done Career Cliff last year yeah. and Yara this time. What other lodges are there left for us to review, look at with Winterschul? Yeah, so at the moment, then it's Wachabiki, which we're going to see now. We're yeah. going to spend two days here. Kamakara Lodge is up in the, it's also in the Northern Cape. Okay. But it's about a three and a half hour mm. drive from three here. Three and a half, four three hours. Half. Okay. Um, Kalori, similar to. Similar, it's called the Green Kalahari, yep. but it's very similar to Nyara. Okay. Just not a lot of hills, it's more flat. Less copies. Open savanna, and then also some thick bush. Okay. Also a beautiful area. And then, as you know, we hunt all over South Africa. So yes. we have we have areas and friends in the Eastern Cape where we hunt. They bring clients to us, we take clients to them. We have a beautiful area in Limpopo that you've been yep. to, Keta. Keta, yep. And uh, all over South Africa, we've got areas that we take Love our clients to. Love yeah. I'm excited mm. to see them all. So. Yeah, lovely. Let's get to it. Let's go hunting. Cheers. Yeah. Let's ride. So we are at Wachabiki. We arrived. We just put our stuff down, grabbed some lunch packs, and uh, we're off to go and look for a black springbok. So we need the black one and the and the white one to finish Brian's uh, grand slam. We got the common one and the copper one, copper one last year. So uh, we've got one day basically to hopefully get one. So keep your fingers crossed. Stock. See if we can get a position to get a shot. The group took, took off that way, and I just spotted him standing behind some bush. But if he walked or ran, I'm not sure. So we're just gonna go slowly and see if I can spot him. Mr. Jarek. Lucka man, lucka. <laughs> that took some work. You got back well up. Done. Yeah, but he, he will die, huh? He's oh. dead. Well done, my friend. He thinks those are the easy ones. Those are the no. hardest ones for us. The springbuck. They Thank are you. really difficult ones Thank to you. get those to, yeah. All right, we're three out of four on the springbuck to get to the slam. Yo, we got one yo, more, yo. hopefully, tomorrow. Quick on the draw again there. Uh, yeah. Thank quick. you. Thank you very much. Well done. Old, old guy, very nice. 
Beautiful shot. Perfect. How long was it? Almost an hour, it felt like. Yeah, it took a while. That's a, that's what we practiced for. That's why we we took our time the other day walking around in Yara just to practice. The sure. older the older I get, the more you realize when you're hunting, take your time, it's worth it. Yep. Yeah. This is uh, nice to look at all the properties of Vintershook to see all the different terrain that they get to hunt. So I, I mean, on top of looking for all these springbuck, which are a very difficult animal here in Africa to hunt, it's just nice to see the different terrain and cover that they have here. I know you've been doing a lot of work, Strauss, you said, with, with Vion and, and the entire crew here to kind of bring it all into the fold and make it a really great hunting operation. Yeah, yeah it's beautiful. different part of the property going after the white springbok to finish out the springbok slam. And we just found a little herd here. It's a nice mile, it's an old ramp. Maybe it comes out, let's just see, the wind might blow us. Are you ready? Okay. Shoot him. I did not hear that hit. I think it went over. Your stuff. grand slam. Slam. That was some work for that one. Thank you, Strauss. Thank you, Venter Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Moi, 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 moi. That's almost as special as a big kudu. It is. <laughs> Nobody understands that. <laughs> some of the smallest the game is the hardest to get. to get, isn't it? Yeah, they are. The grand slam of Springbok. Thank there you. you go. Thank Congratulations, you. huh? Good team effort. Beautiful. There. Thank you guys. Thank you, Inko. It was close, but he turned towards you a lot. He eh? was he it, yeah. More than quartering. Yeah. yeah, he's nice That's and it. white. It's um, it's nice to get them this white. Yeah. Uh, they always have a bit of a color. It's beautiful. The, the how white he is. He's gonna be a beautiful contrast. Old guy. And this is a, a Johnny Vivier saying. He always says, I would like to be the first one to congratulate you <laughs> on your Springbok Grand Slam. Yes. So well done, Brian. I Strauss, think. thank you. That was that was a lot of work for all four, but yeah. we finally made it happen here. Yeah. And it's uh, been a great experience to do this with uh, ENTN and Wintershook together, working yeah. together. I think you saw, you know by now that this is not an easy animal to get a Springbok. <laughs> So uh, it, it takes good shooting and working hard and good stalking. And uh, yeah, we got it done today, so it's always a special day. With a lot of wind that helped. Yeah. Even better, so. Good job. Many thanks. All right, Cheers. thanks, Ryan. And uh, Vintershook was very kind to uh, have the folks from Splitting Image Taxidermy come up and have a, a quick conversation, because this is an important part of every hunt that anybody does to Africa, is the taxidermy work. And having the right people process uh, in place so that you can get your, your trophies back home. And we're gonna just gonna talk real quick about the process that goes into place, the quality and the service that you guys provide. 100%, thanks so much for your time, yes, Brian. It's absolutely. Uh, awesome to be able to spend the, the evening with you guys. Yeah, so um, we're gonna be picking up your trophies in the next uh, probably seven days, let them sit in the salt for a few days. Yep. Um, and then uh, you're versed on, the, on, on what we do. We've, you've had one round with us before, but uh, we'll be getting in touch with you probably in the next 14 days, so seven days after this, we'll pick up the trophies. Um, and then you can expect an email from one of our team 
and uh, they'll get the ball rolling. They'll send you an email with a list of all your trophies, and yeah. you'll say, yep, thumbs up, we're ready to go. And then we'll start discussing how you want to get uh, your trophies worked, whether it's going to be full taxidermy, some tanning, yeah. or dip and pack. We, we're a full taxidermy uh, service offering. And um, we then request a 50% down payment and instructions. Simple and, uh, and easy. We yes. start discussing those bits and pieces, exciting times of yeah. left turns, right turns, and all those bits and pieces. That's the big thing I always tell everybody. Is I, I, I am the one who has to verify everything to make sure it works. Uh, you know, trust but verify. Uh, I can certainly vouch for you guys. You've done a great job with the shipping, the process. And as we were talking earlier tonight, uh, communication is a big part of it. Yep. So, and that's one thing I know you and, and, and Doug and everybody are doing a great job with, with you know, over-communicating because it makes people feel comfortable, especially when they're coming halfway across the world to come here and hunt. Yep. So thank you for taking the time tonight with us and look forward to doing more work with nice. you. I appreciate it. Thanks thank so much. You. Yeah. We got to Wachabiki yesterday. Yes. We really wanted to try and knock out the two spring bucks that we didn't get, and everything worked out as per script. So we were lucky. <laughs> but uh, we actually got the black spring buck so, so quickly that we didn't really get to see the area. So we yeah. got the day to drive around. You've seen um, three, this is the fourth area of ours that yeah. you're going to see. So we want to spend some time so that I can show you around a little bit more. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's great, and I'm excited to see. The rest of the, the area here, it's thankful the winds died down and you said no rain, so I'm going to hold you there. <laughs> <laughs>
raining in the middle of winter, which we, which I would say never happens, but we are with ENT, ENTN outdoors right. today. So you did warn me. Yes, You've warned I me a always few warned times. you of that. Yeah. Every time. It's always unique when I come. Yes, yeah. 100%. <laughs> a different experience. But we had a great stalk and it worked out nicely. He gave us a good opportunity and you took it. So well done and yes. congratulations on a beautiful animal. Eh? Thank you. Yeah, well done. You guys do such a great job with the different species that you offer to your clients and, and customers. It's... Uh, a variety of things that uh, Africa offers, and when the opportunity presents itself, you just have to take it. Yeah. Wonderful, well done, Brian. Thank you. I was with Strauss here checking out the entire property and uh, Inku, thank you, you were the one that spotted the jackal midday. Normally we, we drive at night for them, but uh, we got very, very lucky and made a really good shot for my first jackal in Africa. Oh, beautiful. So Great. we are here with exception, not the norm outdoors. <laughs> Was the sharing. <laughs> so, That's kind of an understatement, isn't yeah. it, with this trip? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we got a black back jackal. It's, uh, he made a big mistake and stopped a quick second there, but he took off and you whacked him. I just think of everything this trip has been very unique, yeah. very special. Yeah. Two of the big five in about a half a day, really. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a jackal instead of in the evening at night, yeah. <laughs> middle of the day. Uh, you know, the experience we get with you guys is just very special to me and uh, why I love coming to Africa. So thank you, Strauss. Well done, Brian. Yes, ENTN all the way. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Uh, it's pretty cool. Actually, Martin, first time we've met. Thank yeah. you for coming down to shake my hand and, and see. I know you're a busy man, so very cool. This afternoon, we're going to have a little braai at uh, Vion's house, mm -hmm. and we're going to also watch the Spring Bucks yeah. for a big game today. So very excited about that. Really? Yeah. Argentina. Yeah, I'm invited. Yeah, let's see. So, Brian, I, I wish I could say it was my idea, but it wasn't. It was Inku's idea. Uh, we, we, we have a small present from you for you that's from both of us just to have the team spirit hi oh so we my is a, a I love it jersey. oh my gosh <laughs> unbelievable <laughs> thank you so much this is beautiful look at that thank you pleasure yeah okay okay so Martin's uh, African Sun Productions, uh, you were the first choice for me coming to Africa, and I, I am so thankful for that. So thankful because everybody talks about bringing their trophies home. The biggest trophy going forward really was the video to be able to show it to everybody back home and educate everybody in the world about what goes on here and how it works. And your group, your team, Igu, you, everybody, it's the service you provide is top quality, and I am so thankful for that. Can you tell us a little bit more about African Sun Productions? Yeah, sure can. Thanks again for having me. Yeah. And like you mentioned, the guys that films for me and work with me, that's how we make it a success. It's yeah. a team effort all the way. And without PHs and outfitters, it's not possible. So yeah, um, I pretty much, I started 20 years ago, uh, started filming my first hunt. And from there on, it just grew and it's a passion to, to be able to, to capture some of these memories. From the beginning to the end, make something that you can send away and be proud of. And you know that the receiver is going to be proud of it yeah, as well. Absolutely. So, you know Inku very yeah. well. You filmed, you filmed you before. And for both of us, it's a passion to, yeah. to do this. We love our job. It's not a job, is it? You just love what you do, right? I have to say it's a job we're on air. Yeah. You know, otherwise, <laughs> <laughs> But you love this, as, as do I. I this is the best thing ever with what we do. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, it's just so awesome to meet people like yourself and yeah. meet everybody involved in this industry. And as you've explained to our viewers, the conservation side is so important. And without something like a movie like yours, there's no way for us to, to carry that over yeah. to people. And we've talked many times, conservation really isn't just about 
animals. It's about the community, yes. the people here, uh, as well as the habitat in the country, which is so important. It's not just about the animal. It's the whole experience here 100%. and educating everybody with what happens here in Africa. Yeah. And I know we're limited on time because the spring bucks are starting soon. So Got to go. Thank you. Thank you again. Awesome. Yes, yeah, stop. He's very sweet. He's going to fight now a little bit, but his milk is coming. Hello, Nick. Hello. So he's, he's our youngest orphan. The others is there. You'll see them now. Huh? Come, Nick. Is he hunger? Is he hunger, Bella? Come, that's it. Yeah. Just don't press him down. Then he's going to press back. But he's waiting for his milk now. And uh, we got him. He's a little bit undersized for his age. We'll see, he's now looking for his milk. Yeah, he knows what he wants, right? Yeah. And so, can Brian come back here? Raiko? Yeah, he knows there's his mum. Yeah. But you can, you can take it. Come, 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 Nick. Come. Yeah, yeah now he's happy. This is uh, a very unique experience for me. Thank you, Vian. <laughs> this is me. very cool. This is why we do what we do. The conservation piece is one thing, but the rhino, as we saw earlier, everything was so important about the conservation piece. Do I need to tip it up more? Yeah. yeah. The rehab center here is so cool. No, and you said it was a total of 60 rhinos released back. A little bit more unsubmitted wow. after the exact details, but a little one like this. From when they start until we win them, it's between nine and 11,000 liters of milk that okay. they will drink. Wow. Yeah. And they stay in the rehab 18 plus months. They're supposed to be 18, but Ansabeth keep him here until three years. Hmm. Um, and his name is? This one's name is Nick. Nick. Um, yeah, they all get names after 14 days. We see, we see they will survive. Uh -huh. I think we've only lost. We've lost the second one last week, it's a little black rhino, and of all the ones that was raised here, Ansabet lost one. And um, little one that was totally frozen, I mean, frozen to death. And then the little black rhino was just starved to death. So when she came in, she was too weak to recover. There's, you'll see the black red. Look how they under the red lights. They fight to get yeah. under the heat there. But they, um, so there's always a senior one like this one that's yeah. looking after the other ones. Because what's very important is that they, they need friends. Although they're not really social animals. When they grew up or grow up, if you raise one alone, the chance for them to get an ulcer is very, very good. And, um, but, but they always like to be with each other, with, uh, despite that they're not really so social, because yeah. the bond of the mother is at least for three years. Wow. And, um, and they are very, very, very nice and very sensitive. As you just look here, just look at this one. And they're so sensitive animals, you can't believe it. Yeah, so this is, this group is now, I think, there's about 10 here now, of which we can let six go, go now. Um, and then we'll keep another, like a little senior one that will look after the others. Sure. And that black rhino yeah. is the last female black rhino of the Bicornus, Bicornus subspecies that was poached in the Northwest. That is the, oh the, the baby that we raised and her name is Layla. She's very sweet, but she will come now, but she's very comfortable. That's why yeah, she's, she's very happy. It's a little chilly yeah. today, isn't it? I'm going to get her <laughs> out there now. The amount of muscle they have is just amazing. They, for their size, I mean, Ansabed weighs them. There's the scale, you see, there's yeah. the scale. Every week they get weighed to see they grow. I would say stop growing, you know, they've got an ulcer. Yeah. So we treat them for ulcers and, um, but they are very, they've got a little about 
a hundred acres camp where they can also go out and then we would start to release them now out in the um, she's very she's they totally different in behavior the black line on the white line yeah much more aggressive a lot more but get more tamed yeah once, once you know yeah once but you if they, you scream yeah. at them they scream back oh, that's the difference yeah. you know just the one black right yeah one black and the rest are all the southern white yeah it's all southern whites yeah. And as I say, that black one is the desert, the desert black one. Um, you yeah. see, there you can see now nicely the difference between the black rhino. Yeah. They've got this lip where they can take the branches. Yeah. To, 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 when they eat, they feed, they can lift their head much higher than a white rhino. Um, the body size is smaller. The ears is more round. Yeah. You can d see the you shape see of the absolutely. ears there. Yeah. And this is actually not a white rhino. It's a square lip. It's yeah. the white lip, white. Yeah. But then. Um, and that came through the translation. Right? That's, with, that's, with that's, the, the that's white exactly. You can see white. color is exactly the same. And everything's the same yeah. except for the, the wide, yeah. which was really white. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Orange. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. No, you want the other one? Yeah. He just wants to go directly for the plate, right? This makes yeah. Even the eyes, the eyes is also different. If you look at the eyes, you will see the eyes is different. They, they, it's quite actually. <laughs> Is it seen this little bit of No. We can fill this back screen. Okay. And the other work that it's you can work with. And as you had mentioned before, it's more the fact yeah. no money was given here. Yeah. This started from you, the team, everybody. Yeah. I mean, for me, is that's a little bit of to show the people that because we hunt, we can afford to do something like this. Beyond. This has been a very special trip. Thank you for everything with Pinto Shook Safaris. The rehab center, by far my favorite part of the whole, whole trip. And I tell you what, this friendship that we've had for such a long time now, I'm so glad to do more with you guys. And I look forward to it. And we'll put it on the, the screen so everybody can see how they can donate to help this cause and help your, your efforts here in South Africa. Thank you. Thank you, Brian, so much. We appreciate it. It's with your support that we can do stuff like this. Thank Absolutely. You. Thank you. Vian decided to have us over to his house today for the Springbok game. And we're just getting ready for the national anthem of South Africa. And uh, this is just part of the culture here. It's just like uh, back home in the States where everybody gets together for football games. This is the middle of the winter here. Spring, Springboks are going to be playing here in about five or ten minutes after they play the national anthem. This is pretty cool stuff. So it's uh, Springbok today with 112. And now he has a fifth try, a second against Argentina. Well, it was started by Eze Ben Dan, with the lineup moved down the front. Again, Billy oh. LaRue, another try assist for Billy LaRue. Again, even Eze Ben on the wing. It just showed pure strength. He had to duck a little bit low. You say he ran around the wing, I think he ran over him. Yeah. The Brai. Yeah. 
Thank you very thank much. You so thank you so much for all the hospitality. Uh, it's so nice to meet you guys. I look forward to coming you. back and seeing it when you guys are really. Yo, we are looking forward yeah, to seeing you again. Be, yeah, <laughs> love it, love it. This is the warmest it's been the entire trip. So <laughs> thank you for bringing the warm weather. Oh, uh, well, that's my, my personality, you see. Go and hide in the house now. I will definitely do that. Enjoy and safe travels back. my best, everybody. Take care. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go. Everything that you do in a day and a half, which I know is impossible, yeah. but we're going to see. <laughs> well, this afternoon we go out and we're going to do uh, rock pigeons. Rock pigeon. Okay, you know, rock pigeon, it is the most challenging bird in the world to shoot. Uh, because of how it flies. The way it yeah. flies, it's the only bird, uh, not the only bird, but they duck and dive. Yeah. And uh, they're very sensitive to movement. And they fly at the speed of 60 to 80 kilometers per hour. I just got a little bit scared now. Yeah. You're not going to be filming me, you're going to be filming Brian, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Together we're okay. Yeah. Okay, what we're doing, we're putting up a blind. The hunter sits behind the blind, just so that the birds don't see him when they fly in. They're going to fly in from that direction. Uh, you get the in-flight and the outgoing flight. So normally when your in-going flight is high, the outgoing flight will be low. All depends on yeah. the You pass the front bird, never stop. You pass the front bird, at about three, four meters in front of that bird, you take your shot okay. without stopping. Yeah. Then you will see what is dropping in the bunch. Yeah. By that you can start determining your lead on yeah, what okay. it is. Okay, the guys just left in the truck. We're just getting set for the afternoon part of the hunt here. In Africa, this is probably something most people don't really look into too much, but it's some really fast wing shooting that they have available here. And this is going to be exciting this afternoon to see the speed that these birds fly at. And we're hoping we can hit a few. So let's see what we go. This is tougher than what you told me about. Is a bird coming by? So that is those speckled rock yeah. pigeon. Okay. The fastest bird in the world. Yep. The way we're shooting today. But yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Strauss was lucky. Only one better day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. But, uh, this is the fastest bird in the world to shoot, he said. And it is extremely difficult to shoot and you're almost a full truck length, if not a truck and a half ahead because of the wind today. Yeah! Yeah! 
This is awesome. Yo! So the kids from the local town here are uh, helping us out here. Uh, this is part of the hunting experience here when they're wing shooting. A lot of the uh, birds that we shoot, they actually will, will be used for food later this evening for that. So pretty cool to see. A different way of uh, retrieving all of our, uh, our wing shooting today. So, but very cool to see. You shot more than you realized. Oh yeah. <laughs> Those are all mine, right? How much you had? <laughs> uh, okay, Brian, that is our typical uh, African rock pigeon, with yeah. speckled pigeon. You can see the white spots on it. Beautiful. This is uh, one of the turtle doves that we got. Yes. And uh, well, tomorrow we are going to end off with a turtle dove shoot. Okay. We're only going to shoot these. Yeah, the other thing I think that's very cool with all of this Strauss, we've always talked about our efforts with conservation. Uh -huh. At ENTN, Venturshuk, and everybody, the uh, community here actually comes and helps locate all of the birds and help yeah. retrieve them all, and that's actually part of giving back to the community. Uh, it's not always conservation, it's about the animals, but it's also about the communities and the habitat that we support here. And, and that's what's so important about this, uh, having everybody involved so everybody knows how the process works yeah. so it can be so successful. Yeah. Every and, little uh, thing gets used. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you, can feed, you can feed quite a lot of, uh, of people with, with something like this. You so. can come, have a great time, have a great shoot, and support the community. This that's is what great. it's all yeah. about. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Yes. Yes. Well, Lovely day. Well, Ian welcome Tien in South Africa <laughs> doing some wing shooting. Where are you hiding? You saw, you saw. This morning we got in just a little bit late, but uh, we're after the first part of the waterfowl. We got birds coming in here. Hold on. Birds get down. Your faces, please. Okay, so we're on the second day here on our wing shooting and waterfowling. They've got the geese decoys all set up here, and uh, we're waiting for the sun to rise just a little bit more. We're trying to catch the birds to their feeding areas instead of their roosting areas. So there'll be a lot of action hopefully here this morning. But uh, we were just a little too late getting in right before the sun. But we're going to see what happens here. Stay calm, stay hidden. Hopefully we'll have some good action.
chance, but wow, that was yeah. extremely tough shooting today. People take that for granted. Oh yeah, I wing, I wing, I wing shoot and, and waterfowl. South Africa is the toughest so far. I was extremely humbled yesterday um, when we were rock pigeon shooting. I'm even more humbled today. I do quite a bit of waterfowling. These are very tough birds to get down. And uh, it was very enjoyable to see the dog work, the decoy set up, the Pierre set up. It was absolutely beautiful. Yeah. It's just yeah. we needed two guys that could shoot a yeah. little bit better. But we did great. We had a great time. Oh, my. This was the, the double that I shot earlier today. Unbelievable. Look at how beautiful the plumage is on these. This is the best of South African hunting for waterfowl. And then we're going to head out for guinea fowl this afternoon. Very exciting times. Yeah, yeah these are almost like Canadian geese. Yeah. I can't like these. But, uh, check that spur, man. That is, that is so cool. That thing, I promise you, he fights a dog. Ooh. Look at that, eh? It's like a, uh, yeah, like with turkeys and their spurs. Yeah. yeah. Unbelievable. Thank you, Peter. This is so we have everybody all done with our moose hunt that we had this morning. We're getting ready to go after guinea fowl with dogs. It's going to be a very cool opportunity for all of us. It's Strauss's first time, believe it or not, uh, shooting guinea fowl over a dog. So a lot of exciting action coming up. Okay, guys, we're going to, to walk that way, basically. Okay. And then we, as we're on top there, we start spreading out. Okay. Right there, please tell me you got that one, Inku. Oh, oh, of course man. I got it. What do you think? <laughs> they are beautiful, aren't they? They call these the orange river, Franklin. Uh, it's, you see that that line going from the face of actually from the beak all the way down the face yeah and spreads out the end and it just goes all into yeah and they have spurs uh these yeah the yeah. males have spurs like this one yeah. it's not very big but they have spurs strauss thank you for today yeah i need some more to drink simply just to rehydrate. That was a lot of walking this morning. It was fun, but it's, it, fun. it's, it's yeah. great to see all of Pierre's property here with what he does with the waterfowl and yeah. a unique experience I had never done before. It's very similar to pheasant hey. back home. Yeah. When we, we talk about the types of uh, shooting that you do here and then the geese this morning was unbelievable. So yeah. we having nice handmade beef patties, um, clean meat, no preservatives or anything added to it. German shorter pointers, all of them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is a breed I love. It is some of the breeds that can do hunt, point, and retrieve. They're mm -hmm. not only pointers, or not only retrievers. Pointers like your English pointers, or retrievers like your um, sure. golden retrievers. So this dog is is both for hunt, point, and retrieve. Skinny fowl. It took some trying, but we got it done. I'll spot the chickens. Yeah, you spotted chickens. Those are beautiful. Yeah. Look at them. Oh, cool. They make yeah. nice uh, flies for trout. Do they? Yeah, these these blacks. Huh. They call them black jacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black jacks. Fly. yeah. yeah. Beautiful. I'm sure I even Two pellets to the helmet, eh? Yeah. 
Yeah, it's a beautiful one. This one is also very really nice. One for your cat. One for my cat. That is a little trophy feather. Okay. Oh. Beautiful. And you will only find that on big birds. Big, bir big mature yeah. birds, yeah. yeah. So we just finished one of our uh, drives here and, and walked for the uh, lovely guinea fowl here in South Africa. And uh, you can see we had a little bit better opportunity at shooting this time. So this is the trophy of the trophy of all right here. Beautiful. Thank you guys for all the hard work. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. So we're at the last part of our hunt, getting ready to uh, shoot more doves. Um, they've got the turtle dove as the last part of their hunt here. And it's another exciting time. The wind's still up like it was our first day. So it was warmer and calmer during the midday, but it's, it's warm back up and the wind is blowing. So it's gonna be fun. A lot of action coming. Oh, I shot a bird. Oh, fucking, oh, oh hell yeah. We got him. They are fast, really fast, really high. And we have the sun right at us here, so it makes it difficult, but it was a good shot. Did you get it? Fuck yeah. yeah, heck yeah, all right. <laughs> That took a while. So this is my last evening here in Africa hunting and I'm heading back tomorrow night, but it's been a great trip. Very exciting, getting to see all of the Ventushook properties, some new wing shooting and waterfowl. Give me a call, look at the website and reach out to me so we can do this together. The exception, not the norm. Exception, not the norm. Absolutely. Cheers. It was a personal trip for me a little bit with my father's passing. I really felt him here the entire time. I know he's here with us. And I always look to the west to see the sunset and always know one thing, when I come to Africa, it's not goodbye, it's until later. Mm -hmm.